A new legal year has begun with some key changes, all geared towards speeding up a busy court schedule. Additional manpower and the permanent placement of resources where they've never been before, among the adjustments announced today as a traditional ceremony focused on some modern adversity. Here's Fern Carey. A number of initiatives underway to strengthen and enhance the work of the court. However, Chief Justice Michael Barnett is reminding all stakeholders that it will take the combined effort of all of us to make them successful. The legal year opening with the pomp and pageantry associated with the long-held tradition. And while ongoing challenges in the administration of justice still exist, Chief Justice Michael Barnett indicated that significant progress is being made. That includes an increase in Supreme Court judges. In 2012, the court will have two more justices than it had in 2010. This past year, the criminal side of the Supreme Court operated at maximum capacity. There were four courts in New Providence and one court in Freeport, Grand Bahama, fully committed to adjudicate on criminal matters. With the addition of Justice Charles, the Supreme Court will devote an additional fifth court in New Providence to adjudicate primarily on criminal matters. Efforts also underway to improve the working environment for judges, with Justices Vera Watkins and Bernard Turner presiding over criminal martyrs starting this month in the newly renovated judicial complex in Bank Lane. Justices Vera Watkins and Bernard Turner will preside over criminal matters in those courts beginning this month. Justice Charles's court and chambers will be located in this main Supreme Court building. With the completion of the renovations carried out last year, there are now seven courts in New Providence which are equipped to conduct criminal trials. This is in addition to the two courts in Grand Bahama. New case management rules are also being considered and will be formalized soon. However, the Chief Justice cautioned that while delays may be reduced, they still may occur. He also noted that residents still have an important role to play. With five courts in New Providence, there is an increased need for persons to serve as jurors. Our efforts will not succeed if eligible persons continue to seek to unreasonably excuse themselves from jury duty. Our Constitution guarantees a trial by jury for certain serious offenses. Meantime, Eleuthera and Exuma are benefiting from resident magistrates who will also serve Long Island and Cat Island. A resident magistrate is also being considered for Andros. Fern Carey, ZNS News.